In the physics lab, a small cube slides down a frictionless incline. It elastically strikes a cube at the bottom that is only one half its mass. The incline is 30 centimeters high and the table is 90 centimeters off the floor. Where does each cube land? Okay, so first step here will be to draw out the situation that we have. Here's the incline. And this is all 0.3 meters. And then here's our big cube. It moves down the incline. There's the big cube again at the bottom. And then it strikes a small cube. That's one half the mass elastically. And then we have the floor. And this is 0.9 meters. Um, okay, and then after that, both cubes are just going to fall off. And we have to find where each cube is going to land. So the first step is to use potential and kinetic energy equations. MGH equals 1 half mv squared. And that's to find the... Uh, the velocity of the big cube going down the incline. So we have to find V out of all this and V equals square root of 2 times 9.81 meters per second times our 0.3 meters which is our height of that incline and that all equals 2.4 meters per second. Okay, now the problem says uh, it strikes elastically. It's an elastic collision. So that means we can use the equations V1 primed and V2 primed. V1 primed is M1 minus M2 all over M1 plus M2 times V1. And our V1s are 2.4 meters per second. So, for the masses, M1 is 2 times the size of M2. So, we're just going to make M1 2. We're going to make M2 equal to 1. So, we do 2 minus 1 over 2 plus 1 equals 1 thirds. We're going to times that by our V1, which is 2.4 meters per second. And that equals 0. 0.8 meters per second. Okay, so now we have to find V2 prime, our M1 mass, or we're going to do 2 times our M1 over M1 plus M2, that's the equation we have to use, times our V1, and then we're going to do 2 times our uh, first cube, 2 equal 2 over 2. 2 times 2 over 2 plus 1 equals 4 over 3 times 2.4 meters per second equals 3.2 meters per second. Okay, so we did that, so now we have to find the time. This is all happening. So we're going to use the uh, kinematic equation 1 half gt squared, and we want to solve for the t, so it's going to be t equals square root of 2y over g, and that's going to equal 2 times our 0.9, which is the height, over 9.81, and that equals 0 0.43 seconds. Okay, so now, we have all we need, and we can just do velocity times time to get the distances of both. So we're going to do 0 0.8 meters per second, which is our velocity of the first cube, times 0.43, and that equals 0 0.347 meters. So that's the distance of our big cube. The one that's two, time, two times the mass of the uh, small cube. And then now, we're going to find the small cube where that one went.
the one that's one half the mass of the bigger one. 3.2 meters per second times our time, which is 0.43, and that equals 1.38 meters. And then there you have the distance of the M2, well, the small cube. And there's your answers.